The leader of the United Workers' Party, Stevenson King, has called on the government to be on the lookout for bogus investors. King says in the face of difficult economic times, many foreign investors are trying to find ways to scam unsuspecting leaders. The opposition leader asserts small island states like St. Lucia are a prime target for the shady individuals. King has warned if the government does not do its homework, it could lead to financial ruin. It is for the government at this time, I think more than ever, to be able to safeguard itself by putting in place the infrastructure within the operations of government that will be able to do the necessary due diligence and to profile those investors who are coming, to determine whether those investors are worth their, their, their salt and whether they have the resources as they claim and, and whether they are merely speculators. The former Prime Minister noted that no government in the region is immune to the plague. He urged the government to be on guard, especially during this difficult economic period. Those bogus investors would, would show up, present a beautiful plan, and now it's easier to present a beautiful plan than ever before. Um, they impress you, and then they, you, they obtain their concessions and go out on the world market, the international market, and then speculate to see whether they can attract um, they recognize names and then promote it, but it's all a, a speculative business. The UWP also continues to request more disclosure on the RSM oil and gas deal, which is now the subject of litigation. In May 2012, Jack Reinberg, an American oil investor, initiated arbitration proceedings against the government of St. Lucia with a claim of U.S. $500 million for breach of contract. The agreement was signed by the Dr. Kenny Anthony administration during a previous term in office. The UWP had previously questioned whether background checks were conducted before the agreement was signed in March 2000. Winston Springer Jr., HTS News Force.